proximal phalanx is very closely related to the flexor tendons, the neurovascular bundle, and it is surrounded by the extensor apparatus in its proximal two thirds. Therefore, there is a need for anatomical reduction in every uh, case of hand, but more so in the proximal phalanx because as you can see that the flexor and extensor tendons are very closely linked to the proximal phalanx. A slight uh, disparity in the flexor tendon sheath can cause adhesions at focal points and uh, can lead to a compromise outcomes. So anatomical reduction is very essential. Transverse fractures of the proximal phalanx are always have a volar apex angulation and this leads to flexor tendon adhesions and PIP joint flexion contractures if left untreated or if the anatomy of the proximal phalanx is not restored. In that, uh, by the word anatomy, I mean that if you don't restore the volar concavity and the dorsal convexity, there will be problems.